Okay, look, sometimes you can't afford a brand new high performance laptop, or maybe you just don't want to spend $900 on the next big greatest thing or whatever it is, right? And so you're stuck with an old rickety laptop from several years ago to do your day to day computing. And this actually happens a lot. And so I thought to myself, are those old laptops really all that bad? And so I thought I would find the answer to that question by testing out this eight year old Acer laptop and seeing if I could use this thing um, as my only computer for a day. <clears throat> but before I get into how it actually performed, I should mention that this is um, a laptop that I just recently refurbished not too long ago, which just means that I cleaned out the inside, make sure the fans were spinning um, okay, and then I upgraded an the old mechanical hard drive for a, an SSD. And then I upgraded the RAM with anything that I had lying around. This is something I'd recommend with any old laptop that you get as this could greatly improve the performance of your laptop for like 50 bucks or sometimes even less. For my specific configuration, I just put in a 270 gigabyte SSD and I upgraded the RAM from four gigabytes to six gigabytes. Um, as far as specs go on this machine, besides you know the upgrades that I made, it is using an i5-3337U, which is a two-core, four-thread th processor. And given the new RAM configuration and storage option that I put inside it, I'm expecting pretty solidly middle-of-the-road performance. Nothing too flashy as this is absolutely not a powerhouse. The configuration that I have in here is probably something that you could pretty easily find on eBay or maybe even Facebook Marketplace for around one to $200. So it's not really necessarily a powerhouse. And then the last thing that I want to mention before I get into how it actually performed as my normal everyday work computer is that this laptop um, is running Ubuntu as an operating system. So it's not Windows, it's not Mac, it's a Linux operating system. And the reason I put Ubuntu in there is because it's a lighter weight operating system than Mac or Windows, which essentially just means that it's gonna be using less of the hardware resources that the laptop has, which allows me to get a little bit more performance from the hardware I'm using. So that's what's going on with this computer. Now, that's enough of a preamble. Let's go ahead and get into how it actually performed. And this laptop performed right around how I expected it to. Loading websites um, and you know streaming content on like YouTube and stuff like that worked generally speaking, just fine, right? Um, occasionally it was a little bit slower than I wanted it to be, but it could pretty well load in 1080p video, um, which was more than enough for a screen that's only like, I think this is only like a, a 15 inch screen or something like that. So for a screen size that's only 15 inches, 1080p is gonna be plenty. You don't need something that's 4K or anything like that. So it, would, it would stream enough. Um, occasionally I'd have to bump it down to 720p, but usually I was able to keep it at 1080. And um, smaller websites were, were able to load in just fine. The only time it really struggled was when I was um, on the Amazon seller platform, which is something that I do for my work very frequently. Um, that one it really struggled to load. So really big websites, things like Facebook, it would you know struggle with, um, or you know the Amazon selling platform, other really really big websites that require a lot of bandwidth to access and navigate. Um, this one didn't you it didn't handle those super well, but it was still usable um, generally speaking. Uh, the light spreadsheet work that I did. Again, very usable. Um, of course, note-taking was totally fine. I use Notion for my notes and uh, note-taking apps are really, really lightweight. So they'd probably run on a potato if you could just pump enough electricity into it. And so that was okay. Um, the main thing that I was concerned about was video video editing. Um, and uh, I knew this machine wasn't going to handle 4K video editing. So I thought to myself, well, let's try 1080p. Um, so I downloaded DaVinci Resolve. I you know imported my... Uh, 1080p footage or got my 1080p footage onto the computer and uh, okay so it didn't even load DaVinci Resolve uh, but you know other than that it was a pretty capable machine and I guess that is the conclusion that I came to is that yeah it can't do video editing there are a few things that it can't do but when it came down to it in a pinch when you're strapped for cash this thing was totally capable and was definitely enough to get me by. And I could use this 
most of the days of my work, I could use this and it would be okay. It wouldn't be the greatest experience. It wouldn't be the snappiest, but it would be enough, you know? And, um, and that, that's kind of the conclusion I came to and that I've, I've come to as I've used other older laptops like this. Is that like, they're enough to get you by, um, even if they aren't the flashiest, newest, you know, fastest laptop out there. Um, and so don't be afraid to go ahead and, you know, put $50 into an old laptop because you might extend its life by two, three, maybe even four years if you're willing to put in the time and effort. You know, I wouldn't expect it to play any AAA games or anything like that, but, you know, you could always load in some emulators and play some retro games. Those are way better anyway. You know, everybody knows that. So, you know, it's not a gaming laptop. It's not going to be anything super crazy, but it is good enough, you know, um, and that actually will become a trend more and more. Uh, the better laptops get every year, the longer they stay around. You'd be lucky in 2005 to get a PC that would last you like three years. And now it's not uncommon to see laptops last, you know, five, six, seven, in this case, eight, and even up to 10 years before they've really run their course and, you know, need to be e-cycled and stuff like that. So uh, it's just going to keep getting better and better. So, you know, hold on to your laptop, push it a little bit. You could save a few hundred bucks here and there. So anyway, that's my conclusion. Let me know if you have any specific comments down below or any specific questions. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.